Tigers Hot Stove League. Um, yeah, I seen today that uh, on a list of it was the top 30 free agents and the Tigers uh, weren't uh, supposedly going to get any of them. It's not surprising, but I think the Tigers are going to be in on some guys. Um, I think that they'll get uh, a catcher um, probably because I don't think Jake Rogers is going to be ready for spring training. Um, so I don't know if it'll be, I don't know, I don't think it'll be like a, the best free agent available or anything like that, but I think they'll get a catcher, um, probably some relief pitching, uh, maybe a starting pitcher. And you know what? I said this last year and I'll say it again. I think, and the Tigers said this, that they didn't want Verlander last year. I think if the Tigers called Verlander, and say we want you to come back to Detroit. I guarantee you, he'd be back in Detroit in a minute. He just thought uh, he just thought uh, started not talking about the Tigers. It seems every time we heard his name, he was always talking about all oh, the Tigers, the Tigers, the Tigers. And I don't know, maybe that's just because they mentioned um, uh, it because it was in Detroit. Maybe that's why we always got that about Verlander talking about Detroit. Maybe it was Detroit media asking him about Detroit. But I said last year that he waited for a long time before signing with Houston. And it was only after the Tigers said, we're not interested in Verlander, did he sign with Houston. Because he's waiting on Detroit to say, hey, we want you. So if they want Verlander, I think they can have him. Do they want him? I don't know. I think if he if he did come back, he'd be the best pitcher on their staff. Because they, I, I, don't, I don't know how you can say anybody else would be better than him at this point. Because we don't know anything about anybody. It seems everybody's been injured. Someone's had surgery, um, somebody's done this, somebody's done that, somebody's had some, uh, some uh, personal problems or whatever, and uh, so I think Verlander, I don't know, I don't think he'll come to Detroit because I don't think they want him, but I think if, if they did want him, I think he's out there. I think, I did, I think Detroit's going to sign some marginal free agents. Um, they might get an outfielder. Um, I don't know. It it just there's so many guys on this team that's that's injured or um, didn't play last year, and um, I don't know. It just depends who's coming back and who's not. And they've gone and hired a bunch of guys, and everybody's excited about oh they got this guy, they got this guy. It doesn't matter who they sign uh, to to be the coach. It doesn't matter who they sign to um you know do this or that if they don't have the players they don't have the players this is the the exact same thing with every single team in detroit that um you know they hired you know the red wings hired steve eiserman the right guy and the red wings are on the right path no doubt about it the pistons hired the the coach of the year and um they've not had a complete team since they've had him and now you know the Pistons are up and down. The first, I watched the first game of the season. I thought they were gonna, I thought they're going to playoffs for sure. And now they're they they're they're just so up and down because they've got so many young players. Um, the uh, Lions, I, they they need to leave a regime in for a couple of years, like three or four years, and just see what happens. Never done that. It's like every two or three years, oh, we gotta gotta change up everybody. So maybe they they stick with Campbell and uh, and Holmes, and maybe maybe the team they actually build something. Maybe the team's good. And with the Tigers, personally myself, I don't like AJ Hinch, but I think that they're they're gonna stick with him, and I think he's their guy. And uh, I don't know they they haven't signed a GM yet, so I don't know if uh, if they're gonna sign one or not, but. We'll have to see with the Hot Stove League. I haven't heard the Tigers mentioned with anybody, but I really think they'll, they'll, they'll be signing some players. I don't know if they'll be top-end players or not, but it uh, be nice if Hobby Baez played better next year. All right, see you later. Have a great night.